everybody, Jenny with Bet in the Farm. Let's go see the chickies. So it's been a little while since I've updated you guys on how the chickens are doing. So I thought I'd just bring you along with me as we go up and do the chicken chores. So nice that it's a beautiful sunny day today. It's been rainy and dreary and gray for like the last three or four days now. Um, it was sunny for a little bit yesterday, but for the most part, it was gray in the morning. So the chickens are doing really well. Right now we've got, oh, I've got one silver wine dot, um, one black Australorp, three speckled Sussex, and two buff Orpingtons. Now if you remember, I had three buff Orpingtons as well as the three Sussex. Well, unfortunately, I have no idea what happened to be honest with you. We uh, put them all in the new coop. I had them separated. Things were fine. Um, I don't know. I waited about a week, put them all together. Things were still fine. I mean, you know, you had a little bit of the pecking order, but it wasn't too bad. And one day, Chad was up here working in the garden. Yeah, don't look at the garden. What a mess. What a mess. You can tell it's in the year. All the weeds, everything. But what I've been doing is I've been, as I've been cleaning up the coop, I've been putting the um, sawdust and the poop scrapings, <laughs> chicken poop, uh, in here. And then Chad's going to till all this up. And we're going to put some other soil onto it and try to get it rendered for next year. So anyway, back to the chickens. So, I don't know, he was up here working on the garden and uh, he said one of the bus were like flying all around like crazy. Hi babies, was flying around like crazy. He goes, and there was nothing going after it. And uh, he said he thought it was really odd. I happened to come that evening to do my chicken chores and she was laying there dead. Not a blood spot on her, nothing. So. I don't know if she just stressed out or what. Hi, my babies. Hi, babies. Yes, let's go get you some scratch. Oh, I'm telling you what, they are digging this scratch. I had never gotten it before. Um, I just always had the feed for them. Well, now, <clears throat> this is what I'm using. It's the Dumar uh, non-GMO six grain multi-scratch or six grain poultry scratch side and they freaking love it it's like it's almost as good as giving them a treat believe it or not so I just give them one scoop every day and watch them run man okay this is gonna be interesting because I got sorry I'm gonna have to bring you guys with me Okay, babies. Okay, looky. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Ready? There they go. Yeah. Now this little one, she was giving me quite a scare, my silver wine dot. About two weeks ago, I came out here. She had no butt feathers whatsoever. Her bottom was completely red and way swollen. And <clears throat> so I, um, and she was acting really weird. She just always stood in the corner, was making funny sounds. So I ended up taking her down, put her in the front porch, put her in the dog kennel. And then um, I gave her her own food of water, of course. But then I soaked her for 20 minutes every day for four days. Um, and she was molting, so oh my gosh, every time I grabbed her, feathers were just flying around. But uh, I couldn't feel a knot or anything, like she was egg-bound. But I just, I don't know what her problem was. But as she was up in the cage for, I mean, I'm not kidding you, she was only in there for maybe six days total. Her feathers started growing back, 
And now look at her. Her back is completely full when it was completely bald before. I mean, like, I was even putting sunscreen on it because it was all red. And look at her butt. So she's completely fine now. So whatever it was, do soaking her in the Epsom salt really, really helped. And she's back to, she's got to get her tail feathers back, don't you, sweetie? What are you doing down there? What? Are you being nosy, huh? Is you being nosy? I just love these speckled Sussex. I'm telling you, they are so friendly. And look at those buffs. Can you believe how big they've gotten since they were little babies? Oh, I just love them so much. All right, so I just gave them water yesterday. Um, what I've been doing is <clears throat> every Wednesday I give them uh, a drop of Nutri Drench into their water and then every Sunday I give them a cap of uh, apple cider vinegar so and then in the days in between I give them fresh water but the days after I treat their water I um, just kind of wash it out any dirt and anything kind of freshen it up a little bit because I don't want to waste that medication and I want them to be able to you know to get it Oh, they see, look at them. They're just loving it. All right, go get the other water. I do have two for them. The coop's not too, looking too bad. I mean, it's not really that muddy or anything. I'm pretty happy. It's dried out real nice. See, you tell the babies that I raised, they follow me everywhere. <laughs> but they're just so precious. I love them so much. So every day after I leave, yeah, I put, um, every time I put a scoop of feed in, I put a sprinkle of DE, and then I've also been putting sprinkles of uh, crushed eggshells. Okay, no eggs in there. And two little eggs in there. Thank you, ladies. Fluffing up a little bit. Um, probably about once a week, I empty out the shavings. And then I sprinkle a little bit of DE on top. That way I know when they're in there and they're um, trying to lay, they're getting treated with DE. So, and luckily, knock on wood, I have not had any problems with uh, mites or anything. I just hope it stays that way. And there's little Millie, Millie, Millie Vanilli, our mean little rooster. He's not mean at all. No, is he? He's a good boy. You know, and I thought he was going to be trouble. And I thought, you know, why keeping him? Because it's no offense to, no offense, Millie, but it's not like I'd want a little, uh, some Millie Juniors running around. <laughs> but, um, so we thought about getting rid of him, but he's just, he's so much fun. And he's such a good boy. Because let me tell you why. When I put these new girls in, of course the older girls, ah, ah, ah. Of course, the older girls were, you know, um, being mean to the little ones and wouldn't let them eat and everything. He would literally stand between them and so that the little ones would get to eat too. And I said, you know what? We're keeping him. He just earned his right right then because that was just awesome. That's what a rooster's supposed to do. All right. Take the two little eggs. Look how tiny they are. They're getting bigger. I can't believe how fast these new girls started laying. And I don't know if it is because of being in there with the older girls. But I think they kind of started laying a lot faster than what they should have. But I'm not complaining. And their eggs, oh my gosh, their shells are awesomely hard. And their yolks are the most beautiful golden yellow I've ever seen. <coughs> so I'm not complaining at all. Yeah, and this I just got in my Henny Roo box. Um, it's Sunflower Delight. Yeah, Let's see if it'll focus. Sunflower Delight. So I'm giving a little treat of this today. And I'm not giving them any of these for a while, but I'm going to give them some larvae. Oh my gosh, they go crazy over that. Yes, as soon as they hear a bag, they go crazy. Yes, I know. I know. The girls are crazy. See, look, I'm getting all excited because they know I have something. Look at them. 
you, you see the bag or you hear the bag and you just go nuts because you guys are spoiled. You're all just spoiled rotten. Yes, you are. Okay, come on. So come up here. Give mommy some room. Give me some room. All right, here. Oh, my goodness. So, oh, my goodness. Do you add that to your scratch? That's yummy. Yeah. What? You think I got something else? Huh? Did you know I got something else? Say yes. We know. Now this is when they get really excited because I don't give them mealworms as much as I used to. I think I was giving them too many because I was spoiling them <laughs> rotten. Chick, 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 chick. Chick, chick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Listen to that. <laughs> you just going to town now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, sweetheart? Hmm? What are you thinking? Want some? There. You're such a good girl. Look how gentle. What a good girl. Yes. You are. She's not even touching my hand. So gentle. Now the buffs, that's a different story on the other hand. Ow! <laughs> See what I mean? There, I put through it down. <laughs> you little devil. I'm just kidding. She's not a devil. She's not a devil. Are you a devil? What is that? <sighs> oh. Well, anyway, um, Chad was actually just saying something yesterday. He goes, we were watching that video. Oh, I think it was the, I, I may pronounce her name wrong. Is it Stivers? Stevers? They're so sweet. They're, they're such a nice couple. But they had just gotten uh, gifted, I think it was 10 uh, Bard Rock, I think maybe. Um, uh, little chicks, little hens. And he's like, you know, I'm surprised you're not getting any more chickens right now. And I'm like, well, we just got six in March. And he goes, I know, but don't you want to have more? And I'm like, well, of course I want more. You know, it's chicken math for crying out loud. But uh, anyway, I was like, well, my biggest concern was if I got some now, by the time they'd be feathered out and ready to go outside, it might be a little too chilly for them. So I don't want to take a chance on, you know, having it too cold. So I think we'll just wait again until next spring. And maybe this time instead of getting six, we might go ahead and get a um, 12. And I don't know, give me your suggestions. Should I get 12 of one kind or should I get six of one and six of another? I'm really wanting some dark brown eggs. I mean, I've got beautiful uh, light brown eggs now, but I'd like to have some of the really dark, beautiful speckled eggs or even just the real dark ones or even green ones. But give me some suggestions on, you know, maybe some uh, chicken breeds that are very, you know, it's not like we get super cold down here in the winter, but it does, it still snows a little bit and it does get in the thirties and maybe in the twenties last year. But, um, so I want one, a breed that'll winter, winter well, plus lay well. And, um, I don't know, I'm not too concerned about hatching eggs right now. So I'm not worried about roosters. So I don't mind if I have a variety of breeds. Um, eventually I would like multiple coops to where I could get a matching rooster and uh, possibly hatch eggs or sell hatchable eggs. That would be awesome. But anyway, just give me your suggestions. So I hope you like coming along with me today and doing chicken chores. I just, I love my chickens and they're so entertaining and they're so funny and they just always put a smile on my face. So I hope it put a smile on your face too. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. If you've not subscribed to us, please do so. And don't forget, you can find us under Bet in the Farm on Facebook and Instagram. See you later, folks. Bye.